Good morning guys. Time is currently 4.40 a.m. in the morning and today is the first day of general surgery. Surgery starts a lot earlier than other specialities in medicine. So I'll need to be in the hospital at 8 o'clock this morning. I'll do work until 7 o'clock. At 7 I'll have breakfast then I'll get ready to go to hospital. <laughs> patients get anesthetized before their surgery. I'm back home now and the time is 7 past 4 p.m. in the afternoon and I'm exhausted because I've been in the hospital since 8 o'clock this morning so I've been in the hospital for eight hours but I had such an amazing time today in the hospital because I got to scrub up and suture a real skin on a real patient in a real surgery this is my first time ever because we used to practice in plastic models. This is like one of the milestones in a medical student's life. And I hit that milestone today. So I'm very happy about that. I had such an amazing time in the theater because all the theater staff, so all the surgeons and nurses and theater practitioners, they were all very helpful and so keen to teach. When the people who work in that speciality are just so lovely to you, it helps you like that speciality even more. Now I would actually consider general surgery as a career option because I had such a good time. So I saw two operations today. The first one I saw was cholecystectomy, basically removal of your gallbladder. And the second operation that I saw was femoral hernia repair, which causes small bowel obstruction. Basically the hernia is preventing all the food in your small bowel to not able to move forward. That hernia was repaired and all the poo or food in the bowel now can move freely and go through the anus and become your poo in the toilet. The one I got to suture in was the femoral hernia repair and I haven't had any time to eat anything yet. I'm just gonna go downstairs and have my 4 p.m. lunch slash dinner. <laughs> Good morning, today's second day of general surgery and today's plan is going into hospital, finding a patient who's admitted under general surgery speciality and examining them, taking a history from them and going through their investigations like bloods and scans so I can present the patient to the surgeon on Friday morning for my CBD, which is case-based discussion. If you want more explanation on what case-based discussion is, you can go to this minute of Day in the Life of a Student Doctor video on my channel. Good morning. Good morning. Are you getting ready for your day, Tim? Yes, I'm running a bit late, so okay. I'm going to go rush. All right, I'm late as well, actually, I'll go now.
I'm with Priya right now and we have an exam next Tuesday so we're just going to do some prep for that. We're going to ask each other questions. Should I ask? Surprise me. You're too hard though. <laughs> Would you get with acute labyrinthitis? Acute labyrinthitis, your hearing is affected. You get vertigo, hearing loss. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Okay. Whereas in vestibular neuronitis, you don't get hearing. Yes. Right. Can you name me some causes of macrocytic anemia? Non megoblastic macrocytic anemia is hypothyroidism. Megoblastic macrocytic yeah. anemia is so vitamin B12 deficiency? Yeah. Or folate yeah. yeah. deficiency? Yeah. What about microcytic anemia? Microcytic anemia, hemo. Okay, I'm home now. I'm just going to edit today's and yesterday's footage. But hope you're enjoying my week in general surgery so far. If you are, please feel free to subscribe. And if you want to see a bit more of me, you can follow me on Instagram. Now, let's get on with the rest of the day. Good morning from day three of general surgery. I think I'm just gonna join the ward round this morning and try and get back home as soon as possible because I wanna write up my CBD for tomorrow and I have an exam next Tuesday, so I wanna revise for that whole day long. So I'm not gonna stay in the hospital for too long, but I'll catch you in the hospital. <laughs> Put that for me, thank you. then began to pass a lot of fresh red blood on the toilet. And at mid-gut is to the two-thirds distally of the transverse. It's hypertension for which he takes, Ramipril. His hands were called to touch and there was no asterisk. He had a cannula in his left arm into which Hartman's solution was running. His abdomen was soft and non-distended, but very tender on right upper quadrant. In terms of blood, I do a full blood count using his bone profile. I thought your tissue examination were good and I thought your plan was kind of appropriate. I think maybe your, the structure potentially I would have done slightly differently. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. I just finished last CBD of third year of medical school so to celebrate that I'm going to make some cinnamon crepes with chocolate chips.
Thank you.